Um, how's it going? It's a good time to test out the weapons. <laughs> you have no clue what just happened. I was messing with my hook on the side building, and the hook shot shot me all the way up from the bottom to the top. So I was gonna show out the weapons anyway. So let's do this. Come on, come out, come out on top. So basically. The wands will use up your hunger, since they don't take their ability to use up hunger. Sink the wood stuff. Yes, yeah, one. And basically every second is half for the fire staff. Fire staff just shoots fires and lights enemies on fire. It does one damage a second by itself. A couple seconds. Now, wind staff, what this does, if I can get them caught in it. See, they'll grab them and it'll shake them around, do one damage each. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ah! Yes! Suck it. That was so perfect. Man. We survived that somehow. So yeah, testing these guys is really dangerous. So we need a better example of when stuff has to regenerate some health. And one of the reasons why I took so much damage is because I'm actually wearing the mage robes today, since I thought that'd be fitting. It's very low. I still don't know exactly what they do. So we'll find out soon enough. I'm actually going to remove that and put this on just for the armor. I need it to fight. Yeah, look at that. See, they start shaking them and do one damage a second. Use up like one bar. Which I think is really good. Now, what's the necrotic bone you ask? I'm just gonna spawn one. This is you spawn undead. Like that. Get to my minion. You don't gonna do a damn thing. Get him. Yeah, so when they die, they disappear. It's one of the things the enemy was doing, and how much do I really be on this? Got like, you can spawn up to eight minions or something, the crop bone. So I don't want to do all of them. So basically, what I was doing earlier, let's see if I can recreate what just happened. You know, because there's like a safe zone I can jump into if things go sour. Let's try to recreate what happened. So I was messing with my hook up here to try to climb the building, I guess. What actually happened if I can get this to go correctly? Okay, and then. So difficult to recreate what happened. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, sorry guys. It's I'm gonna head back. I think that's the next one we're gonna go on a raid. I'm gonna craft myself some diamond gear and get ready to assault it. And beat him up. These all new weapons we're gonna take also with us on that journey. So I mean, look how much diamonds we got out there with. Oh uh, yeah. Not. Don't think I'm gonna return and get the lapis, cause the, I'm. Actually, I might. It just goes. Is that in there? I'll do that off camera and then we'll try to sell that thing over there actually no let's save one and actually let's do that right now okay well, I won't enter it because I gotta do some stuff off camera a bit we're gonna head to the Twilight Forest we should be ready so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to need how much 
four by four, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need twelve flowers. Let's search for those. Let's first choose an area where it will go. I think it will go, I don't know, right here. Can I see that? And I need the water. So you have some buckets inside. I think I have two buckets. So you have those fill the water up. And then what we just need then is some flowers and some diamonds. Okay, let's grab those. We got a bunch of doors from our raid. Oh yeah, speaking of which, got some new mods installed. We got, what is it called? We got applied energistics, iron chests, and miscrafts, mainly because of applied energistics new ore we need to find. I want to do this just because storage and it's nice have it. The fully updated mod will always be in the description so you can download all the stuff you need if you want to play along I suppose. Look at that and let's see where is some freaking flowers. Hmm. There we go. So we need fourteen, I think. Was the number? Thirteen, fourteen. Looks like there's just a perfect amount around here. Then we can finish the twilight portal and then get on with it. Here it is. Here's my twilight portal. Close you off. Looks like only twelve. The last thing we're going to need is a diamond. It costs one diamond to get there. And, more, and I think it's worth sacrificing one of my diamonds since I have quite a bit. Oh, one dungeon raid. I don't think I have to go mining that much in this series. It's just nice. It's just raiding dungeons. And raiding dungeons are fun. I, do, I don't mind mining, mining, but it can be annoying sometimes. <sighs> Yes! No, it was an achievement. I was testing around and accidentally already got the achievement. Let's see, you got Miscraft. You have Twilight Arrival. Yeah, I already arrived. <laughs> so, now we got the Twilight Portal. Won't be jumping in since there's some other stuff I have to do first. Let's go, we got a Twilight Portal. I think I live in the overworld. That's where all the stuff is. So yeah, I'm gonna make up some diamond gear off camera. So guys, I will be right back. Yes, I'm back. So what we're going to do? We're gonna head to Twilight now. I have diamond chest with my diamond gear, my creeper head. Trusty creeper head. Um, cook chicken, a bunch of some diamond gear. Let's go through. Okay, so I won't be able to make miscrafts, so we should be able to get some searches quartz, which is what I'm gonna be looking for. Yes. Okay. Um, what is its name? Plot Energy Six is a machine mod, but it's the best storage system ever, and I had to had to download it. I'm sorry. Oh, crap. Oh. Of course, I had to go back in. Uh, let's go back in. 
to the other side. So, yep. Waypoints and portal. Now we can go and explore. The only thing that I want first is a magic map. If you don't know what that is, one of the most important items in Twilight Forest. So, magic map. So it's a blank magic map. Now to make that, it's just paper surrounding magic map focus. So we need to kill a raven, get torch bears, which I know how to get those, and glow some, which we have. So we need to find a cave. We need to find a raven. So I'm going to go for the cave first. Now basically, these big horn sheeps, these guys. These guys basically act like sheep in this dimension. Chickens. We have chickens here. There we go. No, those are just roots. Oh, there it is. Torch berries. That was pretty fast. Pretty dangerous here. Oh god, that's freaky. Let's run out. Can I place this down? Nope. So that's the first thing we need. Now we need to find a raven. Oh, uh -huh, that's gonna be defined. Oh, those act like pigs. Oh, and these are usually hollow. Let's see. This one's hollow. You see usually how they're usually great places to live in. If you're living in the Twilight Forest. Oh yeah, let's go here sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes you find something in here. Okay, well, fuck. There we go. We got steak, bread, bucket of water, which I don't need, cake, mushroom stew, and that. I think I'll be able to make it. We got it. Yeah. So where is this frickin' raven? Okay, let's turn on the entity's radar. Just turn off everything else and just have animal en enable. Here's some chickens. <clears throat> I see to find one raven, come on. You should have all problems finding these guys. Little birdie. Squirrel. Not what I'm looking for. It's a darn raven. Need to kill one. I used to have a pet raven though. Is this one I mentioned that? There you are. Don't you fly away. Hey, where'd he go? Don't you fly away. Dang it. He said, thought he would 
the time. Twilight, and we got the achievement Twilight Hunter with fire it right. With fire it right. You have the magic map focus with the raven so and torch berries. Let's head back to the portal and craft that. So, guys, I meet you back at base. Back, I'm at base, so we can. As fire, it writes, basically. So we're gonna need that, that, feather, torch, berries, and what was the other ingredient? Glowstone, right? I don't have glowstone. There we go. Place a piece of glowstone. So they go in the beginning, things you're gonna need if you want to do stuff to be productive in the Twilight Forest. Macbook is fire, it writes. And now, the next achievement. I can see for miles. Craft the magic map. This is why I got this sugar cane. Paper, we're gonna make ourselves a magic map. This is the first thing we're gonna need, guys. So let's craft it. I can see for miles. Great. Now let's head back into the Twilight Forest. This. This is, I'll show you what this is different than a regular map. I was thinking of ice. This is just probably no map. What? What's the difference between a regular map and a magic map? You'll see. Let's open it. It shows the location of the bosses. Exactly. Now, are we going to go after a boss? Nah. No. We're going after a hollow hill. That's right. Yes, we are doing that. But first, what I want to do, one of the reasons why I want to go, let's first explore this hollow hill first. Let's just dig in here. just want to see what's here. Let's just dig straight in. It might be deep in. I don't know how deep in this hollow hill will be. This right here should be hollow. Yeah, it should be. I don't know. That right there is a hollow hill. This right here is a hollow hill. I don't know how deep it is. Ah, here's the entrance. We will. Not exactly, but. Mm. Oh, fuck. Is this one spider? You know there's an opening here somewhere. See one of those. Okay, I can't find a way in. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to find a live root. So the most best ingredients to make living. Live root is the best ingredient. For making iron wood. Now how do we get live root you may ask, we have to find some of those big trees. These trees you basically have to find these roots, right? Sometimes under them you find live roots. Let's dig down this guy's roots, see if we can find any live roots. Nope. So I think we'll go I'll do some mining. And trust me, this will take a long time. So, I'm gonna t tell you something, do it off camera. If something interesting happens, I'll be back. Oh, wait. Have I even been recording all this? Yes, I have. Here's one of the cool dungeon things. Let's run in and disable the spawner. Nothing here. Sorry. 
I buy mouse and crazy. Um, so yeah, that's it. Those things are spawn druids. You don't want those things to spawn. Trust me on that. So I'm gonna find myself a cave and search for a live root. Of course, mine up all the resources I'm, I'll need. Come back when I should have enough and. Should be like, I don't know, for the ironwood set, which is the kind of thing we need right now. Ironwood, I want to go with Twilight using ironwood set. We're going to need, uh, well, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 24 ironwood. So, quite a bit. I'll be right back, guys. See you in a bit. Hey guys, found some Zertus Quartz and some diamonds over there. And also some redstone, but here's what Zertus Quartz looks like if you don't know. There we go, we got. Uh, what is that it? That's a shame. Get out of here. So I'm gonna spawn everywhere. Yep, so guys, I'll be back. Um, uh, later when I should have everything or something else interesting happens. See you guys then. I found some live root. This is live root right here. We need a bit of this. So yeah, you want an axe, but I don't want an axe. So this is what I pick. Hmm. Let's throw the seeds. Yeah, I, I've been traveling for quite a while. So yeah, that's what those look like. I got four of those. This is the first time I found them. Yeah, they're pretty hard to find. I mean, it's best just search around the roots, I suppose, but that that's never worked for me, really. It's better usually just mine. They're kind of hard to find, but... It's worth finding them because you also get a chance on them. It's really good. This is me always on a habit. I always like to use the armor from the mod. Makes you feel like I'm doing stuff as like it was meant to be done. So I don't know if I explore this whole place or not. Well, I'll get back to you once I get enough live loot or something else interesting happens. Guys, I found another dungeon. I was just trying to look for another cave. Just came back on a round trip, and I found this. What's down here, you ask? Well, jump down here. There's really nothing down here. Just loot. Charm of Keating. That's really nice. Oh, I forgot how to use these. It's been so long. I think if you lose all your stuff, um, you can basically upgrade these. Basically, you keep some stuff. I don't know the difference. I have to look on the wiki. I've never really used them. But something to do with keeping your inventory. So, yeah. I got 24 right now. I'm actually getting 33 so I can get the full set of gear as well. Be nice to take on the dungeons. And I'll leave this here. I guess I might as well mark it. Ruin so you can get the mossy cobble later on. So yeah, I co just completely emptied out my inventory. Okay. Yeah, I killed a lot of mobs here. Twilight Forest Underground is really dangerous, by the way. I don't know if the mobs are stronger, but if you're going to go underground Twilight, trust me, you can get... Basically, Twilight doesn't have as many layers, so you can get the better resources faster. But the spawn rate is just triples. It's ridiculous. But as a benefit, on the surface, you will pretty much never run into mobs. So it's a pretty nice place to live. I run into them um, sometime, but I've actually usually I usually live here. It's a pretty nice place. Those cicadas are kind of annoying. They're kind of buggy a little bit. <laughs> um, get their bugs. Get it? <laughs> okay, now I'll shut up now. But anyways. I'll be back, I still am not finished yet, and actually won't be able to finish this episode after this. And again, I might sit a lot of the episode open parts because this might be ridiculously long, I don't know. 
so sorry about how this is gonna be this is gonna be a pain to edit so probably not as much as a pain to start from across it then so anyways I'll shut up now now be back after I kill the spider and this cobalt yeah these are cobalt they just drop a random stuff like sometimes we too it's the twilight forest thing die and oh my god see what I mean and uh, and little fireflies <laughs> they're a little shiny like they look like experience wall things yeah anyways I will be back enough sidetracking I'll be back